you basically just have to keep cooking sand until you can't cook sand anymore. Getting a little bit of a frame drop. What's down in the hoe? What's down in this hoe? Reveal your secrets to me. Okay. We going down. I'm yelling timber. I almost walked off the edge. That would have been a timber. Is that... No, there is stuff underneath of me. This is going to be the jankiest, scariest staircase I've ever made. And that's saying something. Whoop. Just gonna boop that there. It's getting dark in here again. And I didn't make another pickaxe because I don't think about those things. Ooh. Ooh. There's stuff. And there's a skeleton down here that I don't have a sword. I might go smelt some iron and make a sword. Because that's another thing I usually forget to do is make tools to defend myself. Because I'm too busy mining things to think about self-defense. Oh, iron. Thank you. Okay, give me... I want it back. I'm gonna beat you with an apple. Eat my apple. That sounded slightly perverted. Anyways, we're gonna move on from that. Make us a little crafting and smelting room over here. This is taking forever. This is why I don't like stone tools, but we're gonna have to deal with that for the probably next long time. But there's a lot of iron in this cave. The question is, do I want to waste it all on pickaxes? Because that's... It would be nice, but it also could be bad because I'll waste all of it. I don't know. Ooh. Okay. Boom. And we're just going to do one piece of coal for now. Okay. More iron. Ooh. Maybe we'll do two pieces of coal. Ooh. Ooh. There's more. That's, if I was more, oh, if I was more kind of like motivated, I would have put the custom ore gen in, and then this would have been like ridiculously ore happy, because you can make them spawn in veins, and so you can literally find a couple thousand blocks of something in all the close little area. Just because that's how the custom origin works. Because all I'd have to do is I wouldn't even have to run the custom origin on um, the server. I would just have to create a world with it and then load the world in. And hope it didn't get angry when um, it didn't have it in there. Because custom origin does have a few ores it adds for the mod itself. But they're not too many, and so I think I could get away with it. I don't know what I'm doing right there. That was an interesting little turn of events. Ooh, we can do another one. Fine, I'll do two. I'll waste uh, some efficiency in my coal just because we're going to put a light there because it's a little dark. Don't want anyone spawning up in my home. Because, you know, that's not nice. Don't do that. Don't spawn in people's homes. Do you do... Oh, God. Don't kill yourself. That's really bad. Oh. oh. Finish the staircase so when I have to whoop, run from the enemies. A little bit of block lag. But luckily, OBS is actually, it's only going down maybe 3 FPS at the most, which is fairly amazing, because it feels like on my end I'm dropping, because when you go from 100 and, or 200 down to like 60, you feel it. And it feels like you're lagging, even though you're still getting an amazing frame rate. 
and this version is older and so you can't set the max frame rate or at least I don't think I can check real quick once I'm done getting this don't spawn anything near me yeah you can't um, the newest version actually has a cap and that way it won't fluctuate as much if you are experiencing those weird kind of ups and downs this cave is enormous I need to make some more steaks. Steaks. Boop. Okay. Ooh, look at all the stuff. Take that. Anyone home? Oh, I hear Mr. Zombie. Zombie. Okay. So what are the odds that me mining this iron out, there's going to be a creeper that falls on my face? Because that would be less than what I would imagine would be ideal. There is so much iron, wow. Jeez. That is amazing. Like, what is up with that? Thank you, spawn gods. I'm yelling timber. Okay. Oh, there's another one. There's some more. I don't want aluminum. Because even in like, oh, in like end game, you don't really use aluminum. Oh, there's a lot more. We're going up. We're not going down. No one yell timber. We're going up. Get it? Oh. Look at this. This is ridiculous. Yeah, because this isn't even a one that I ported from single player. This is a fully um, server generated map or world. Which is Q. I don't have like anything on my screen now because I'm not listening to music and since there's not zombies, there's not a map. Maybe I'll add like a uh, feed the beast unleashed thing or something. You know? Ba 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 dum ba dum ba dum. Boop. Yep. So after I'm done collecting, oh, that's loud. That's Skype. I, uh, I know, actually, that was Facebook. Why are people... Ow! Stupid thing. As me and my friend started, um, it's called the Infinity Pack. It's on 1.7.1, I believe. Um, there's all these little cactuses everywhere. And they're just really annoying. Sorry for that, my nose is running a little bit. <clears throat> Figured you wouldn't want to hear that. But I guess I could be wrong. Ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum. Ooh, are those water shards? That's another thing is I would collect the shards, and I got a lot of vis shards in my other world, the rare ones, and I just don't know what to do with them, because uh, there are so many mods in this, so there's 125 active mods, um, and so there's tons and tons of different ways you can go, you can go into Tinker's Contract, yeah, Tinker's Construct, Thalmcraft, stuff like that, or you could just stay kind of more like I do, because of how my brain runs, um, with things like um, industrial craft, build craft. Uh, what's the other one? I don't remember what the other one that's kind of more mechanical, I guess. And so you can spend so much time going down one kind of mod itself just because these are so, like, the mods are so um, expansive that you could play for hundreds of hours and still only scratch the surface of all the mods you have which is kind of the cool thing about this pack is the fact that 
you can do what you want. It's not like you have to just do this, that, and the other thing, and then you're done. And that's... Someone was asking me the other day about my other world, whether or not I was... If I had beaten the Ender Dragon. And I told them no, and I haven't. And it's like, the thing with the Ender Dragon, or like... Even the Naga and stuff like that in Twilight Forest, is once you do it once, it's not as special anymore. Like, it loses its kind of ooh-ah factor. And so I just find myself not really bothering with it, because it, I guess there's just other things that are fun to build to instead of just that. I need to go slay some animals up in here. Let me out. Okay, piggies. Excuse me, piggies. I... Excuse me, tree. Let me... Okay. Piggies. Oh, there's a sheep, too. And I'm probably going to do that a lot because I've been playing World at War a lot. Sprint is control. Getting a little bit of frame rate lag. Still says I'm running 120, though. Give me your wood and your meat. The other meat. Ooh, that's a cool looking tree. And look, there's water right there. I could make like a mini dome. But what I want to do is I want to go to a really... Come back here, you lagging stupid... Urgh. Okay, I got to eat the apple, otherwise I'm going to start starving. Oh yeah, two food bars. Get on my level. Going to assassinate. Uh, assassinated. Okay, I think I have enough for bed now. No, I need one more. Mr. Sheep. Voice crack. And this is, okay. This is the cool thing about the PC over like the Xbox or I think there's PlayStation version, right? Um, in those, when you go to make a bed, you have to use all of the same color wool. It can be any color wool, but all three have to be the same. On the PC, you don't have to do that. You can have, like, this gray guy, which I'm going to kill. I can use one of his and then two of the whites, and it'll still make a bed. I always found that kind of interesting, and in that you could do that only in the PC version. Okay. I'm going to go for, like, this natural look still, and not, like, put wood for my archway thing, entrance stuff and things. Uh, but, uh, haberdashery. That's a fun word. Like, if you're in an argument with someone and it's like, if they're just being nonsensical and you just want it to be over, just yell haberdashery at them. And I guarantee you, if they know what it is, they'll just look at you like, what? Or they don't know what it is and they'll still look at you like, what? And if they don't know what it is, they'll think you just called them some, like, outrageous, like, name, and you'll, like, just win, just because that's how it works. Okay. Crafting table. Boom. Okay, go back. Up. Up. Up, I say. Up. Uh, I need some more dirt. I just thought about that now as I was placing the door. I was like, I didn't make that out far enough. It'll be good now, though. It's all good, y'all. It's all good. Ta-da! Yeah. See, this one... Oh, again, like I said, I won't sprint right. This one is not... Well, it could be pretty deep, but it kind of defeats the purpose because it's so small. <clears throat> I'm going to have to explore... Because I don't know if my map will zoom out enough. Well, there's some water that way. This lo that looks like the ocean that way. So we're going to go that way later because it's getting dark now. Boop, 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 boop. Staying alive, staying alive. Oh, 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 oh. Staying alive. Give me that meat. <clears throat> Mm-hmm. <clears throat>